As Tiffany Tarpley tells us, a local woman is finding ways to cope on a journey toward healing. Warm, lighthearted, charismatic, and a music lover. But even more than that, Jessica McKellar's father was her biggest support. He died three years ago. It was very, very hard for me. There were lots of ups and downs all throughout the grief cycle. A cycle that will admittedly never end. It's a journey, and with each step forward, she is making progress. The key, she says, is to have more good days than bad. I will never be all better. There is no way to be that way. There's always going to be maintenance. When life comes fast, each stroke is a form of self-care, a chance to slow down. Thoughts brushed onto canvas. Helps me. McKellar got help. Clear my mind. But she also knows not everyone represented in our black and brown communities struggling mentally feels comfortable enough to do the same. A lot of people feel that you should keep your emotions inside. You have to be strong. You shouldn't talk about these things, no matter how difficult the issue is. And people bear these crosses for their entire lives. According to the American Psychiatric Association, there are several factors that may affect access to treatment for those in diverse ethnic and or racial groups. These barriers to care include things like a lack of or not having enough insurance, a lack of diversity among mental health care providers, and distrust in the health care system. National Alliance on Mental Illness Greater Toledo Community Outreach Coordinator Sonia Quinn believes it comes down to information. The stigma is really hard for us to get through because we want to go to our pastors and try to pray it away and and just the reality, um, we have to start educating the um, African-American community and the minority communities about um, seeking help. Do you think there are enough mental health resources in Northwest Ohio and specifically for minority communities? There is enough, it's just that, are we reaching out? Quinn is doing the work, reaching the people where they are, and so is McKellar. Sometimes I'll paint a darker painting because I might not be feeling Quite okay. You see, she struggled with mental health issues since her 20s, and now she's giving back, reaching young adults with art, helping them to also use it as a way to cope, and facilitating peer-to-peer -peer groups and open discussions. Reaching out is important. It's okay to just talk. You are not alone. NAMI Community Outreach Coordinator Sonia Quinn says you can get help to deal with anything that consumes your mind, anything that affects your day to day. NAMI offers free resources for that. Find this story on our website for a link. Tiffany Tarpley, WTOL 11. If you're feeling uneasy, know that you're not alone. There are a number of resources for you or your loved ones if you feel lost. Just text wellness or resources to get connected right now to 419-248-1100. We'll send that information right to your phone.